This is an idea I had years ago. It's a fin propulsion boat. And I wanted something uh, lightweight, something that wouldn't pollute the atmosphere, something I could go fishing with, control, hands free. Now I learned from the past that before you get too involved in creating a, a big project over a theory you have, it's best to try the theory out here. That's kind of what I'm doing. $15 for the uh, hardware, the PVC, and the nuts and bolts. A couple hours of time assembling it. If the boat looks familiar, this is my old uh, speedboat hull. It's made from one sheet of six millimeter coroplast. I, I know I could get a float tube and gators and fins and I could be out there fishing, but the appeal is to, uh, to be out in the sun in a little boat. This thing weighs 15 pounds altogether, so it's very appealing. It's actually half the way to my speedboat. At this angle you can see that the, uh, the rear of my boat is swinging quite a bit back and forth. It definitely needs some kind of skeg stabilizers to keep it from doing that. Oh, that dip right there shows you that the V-Hull isn't the best boat shape for this type of propulsion system. My weight's quite forward, way more than it should be. To do it again, I'd make a coroplast boat uh, more rectangle shape for better stability. <laughs> that proved to be purely unsuccessful. But this is called rapid prototyping. Just uh, slap something together and try it out. It ain't gonna always work. And you just might get a little wet too. <laughs> this is Paul trying out a new idea. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.